as you know, least cost diet formulation is one of the most common methods in formulating diets for livestock animals. So, but sometimes you are trying to formulate a diet and unfortunately you are getting infeasible solution message. So what should you do? In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the problem. So this is the least cost feed formulation file. I have taught how to build this spreadsheet in one of my previous videos, and I'm going to post the link up here. But if you want to make your life easier, you can just uh, navigate to my website and download this file. My website address is www.canadaanimalnutritionist.com. So, as I have explained in one of my previous videos, you need to uh, press on uh, data and then choose the solver from uh, here to formulate the diet. So what we need to do, just press solve in the solver window. And here we need to look at the results. It says, Solver could not find a feasible solution. So it's the most common uh, error feed formulators can get when they are trying to formulate a diet. So to find the root of the problem and fix it, we need to just choose feasibility from reports section here in the solver results window. So as you can see, I'm clicking on feasibility and then press OK. So it's gonna generate a new spreadsheet for me. You can see here, it's called feasibility report one. I'm going to click on that, so let's uh, zoom it a little bit so we can see what's going on. So this is the feasibility report for the um, spreadsheet. So what we need to do is just uh, pay attention to the status column. Here, as you can see, one of the nutrients is violated and is not balanced. That's why we are getting infeasible solution message and we need to fix this. So if you look here, it says cell V14, which is methionine plus cysteine in diet specifications, it is violated. Violated means is not balanced. We ask a specific number for methionine and cysteine, but the feed formulation software could not meet that requirement. And we need to fix the problem. So the software can formulate the diet and give us, you know, a feasible solution. So I'm going to come back to my spreadsheet and now I know the problem is related to methionine plus cysteine. It is row 14. So here, what I need to do is I need to double check the methionine plus cysteine values for each ingredient. And also, if it's not solved, I need to pay attention to the uh, methionine plus cysteine um, specifications. And then if again, I'm getting, you know, the same error message, I need to double check my solver window and see if any of constraints is not correct. So let's start with looking at the 
methionine plus cysteine values for each ingredient. So we need to um, look for any miss, missing values or any typos in the numbers and or uh, if any number doesn't make sense. So we need to fix that. So I'm starting with corn, methionine plus cysteine, 0 0.36, it makes sense, it is correct. And then the next ingredient for wheat, wheat middlings. So the next one is soybean oil. Soybean oil, it is obvious, it doesn't have any amino acids because it is oil and it's just the source of energy, not protein, not amino acids. So the next one is canola. Again, number looks good. And then soybean meal, fish meal. And then here we are in the additives section. So oyster doesn't have any amino acids, which is correct. And then limestone doesn't have any amino acids, dicalcium phosphate, lysine, D-L-methionine. D-L-methionine actually is a synthetic amino acids and it is used in diets to provide methionine and cysteine. As you know, methionine is an essential amino acid. It means that the animal's body cannot synthesize methionine. And if we, uh, and we need to uh, provide it through the diet in a plain language, right? So, but this methionine, some part of this methionine will be converted to cysteine in the body. That's why we need to add synthetic amino acids in such a way to meet methionine and cysteine requirements. So that's why here in the nutrient composition, we need to consider methionine level as 98%. And also, because it's going to provide cysteine as well, so we need to put 98% for the value of methionine plus cysteine as well. Here, I put 98%. So it's really important. Some minor mistakes like this can make your diet infeasible. That's why when you are formulating diets, you need to pay attention to details. Now I'm going to formulate the diet again by going to the data tab and press solver and solve the diet. Now the solver results say solver found the solution. All constraint and optimality conditions are satisfied. So by that, we understood how to find the violated nutrients when formulating diets. As I mentioned already, all the feed formulations uh, files are available on my website at www.canadaanimalnutritionist.com and you can download them through the website. Please let me know if you have any questions down there in the comments and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.